We made this bow last week in under an hour. It had a lot of problems, but it was still good enough for the impossible draw, Wolverine style, and the three arrow magazine draw. The tutorial for the three arrow magazine draw is at the very end of the video. If you've never missed, you haven't been shooting long. It's the same with making bows. Breaking bows happens. It happens a lot when you start. That's why I recommend Greenwood Sapling Bows. They're hard to break. If you want more details, read the description. I always put a lot of information in there. If you want to see more bow making and archery videos, check out my playlists. If you're just starting out, don't fall for the allure of the prettiest, best performing bows. Those also have the smallest margins for error. Now I already told you that making bows is simple. You just take a tree, remove everything that isn't the bow. That's wood, water, and the stiff bending areas. You can remove wood with any tool you want. Doesn't matter how you remove the wood, as long as you remove the right wood. When you remove water, the wood stores more energy, but it's easier to break. That's why I say beginners should make green wood bows. Removing the stiff bending areas is called tillering. That's when the personality of your bow comes out. To make low draw weight bows, you don't have to dry the wood, but if you dry it a little bit, you get a little bit of a performance boost. I dried this wood for three days in my drying box. That's the same as about a week in my humid shop. When you pull a rubber band too far and it doesn't snap back as much, that happens to bows too. It's called set. This is a bow with three inches of set, which is a lot. It shoots like a bow with a much lower draw weight. So you have to work a little bit harder, but it still shoots well. The bow on the left was made from properly dried wood. It took over a year to prepare the wood and about a dozen hours to make the bow. It does shoot better. Here's another bow that didn't take much set. It has a very low draw weight, less than five pounds. It draws four pounds at 32 inches. Many archers will tell you that a bow that light isn't worth shooting. Who cares? I'm having fun. Here's the bow we're making today. We cut the tree down three days ago and put two hours of work into it. If you're fine with how this shoots, don't spend time on complicated bow designs. 
Don't waste money on fancy premium wood. And don't make a bow heavier than 30 pounds. I recommend a cutting tool, a scraping tool, and an abrasive tool. A saw is handy, but you don't need it. There are a lot of tools that are handy, but you don't need. You can make a bow with one tool, but when you're starting out, I recommend getting a cabinet scraper, a rasp, and your choice of cutting tool. You know what you like. Don't use the tools I like. Use the ones you do. You can even use a rock as a rasp. Don't get tired rubbing a big rock against the bow. Rub the bow against the rock. Don't work hard. Make a sapling bow.
I don't recommend adding recurves to your first bow, but a lot of you are going to do it anyway because bow makers are stubborn. So I'll show you how to do it. This is how you make a call. I made these because I wanted them, but you should make yours a little bit less steep. If you bend recurves too far, they can crack. So when you start, you should stay mild with the bends. For the record, I don't think the bow shot better after I added recurves. They just look cool. If you do do it, don't add steep recurves. They can really cause string alignment problems. I'm only finishing this bow to show you how. The truth about survival bows is when they dry out, you may have to readjust the bend or they might break. Bows have a personality and a life. Sometimes they live and sometimes they die. It's okay, you can make another. Go make a bow. This bow had a lot of problems, but it still took over 40 inches of draw to break. If you think you know what mistakes I made on this bow, let me know in the comments. On this channel, we always talk about our mistakes and learn from them. So how do you break a bow? Go make a bow. Don't like and don't subscribe. Go make a bow.